I'm Craig Kenneth, a relationship coach and a psychotherapist. Every relationship is different and every breakup is different. Work with me and you'll get professional help on your situation. And if you're in no contact, focused on personal growth, my workbook series, The Knowledge, will help you make changes like you've never made before. Available now at AskCraig.net. Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about Does silence make a man miss you or cause him to move on? This is a topic that comes up a lot, and I know that you ladies are absolutely terrified that the guy you love or you really want to be with is just going to move on after your breakup. It comes up so often and it's understandable because, you know, you're confused and this person just ended a relationship with you in a lot of cases and you're thinking, well, if they cared about me, why would they do that? Well, obviously there are a million different reasons why somebody could have left you, but for whatever reason they felt like it wasn't working. Now, it doesn't mean that they won't revisit the idea of getting back together with you. Now, first let me start off by saying that time is on your side. Many people are going to tell you, forget them, just move on, don't think about them anymore, and it's going to make you feel so much worse. That's because they don't understand breakups. But I talk to people around the world every single day, and I've been doing this for years, so I see that even the most challenging and difficult uh, situations can and do turn around. Of course, a lot of that is based on how you handle things and your behavior. But for many of you, you will at least get one more opportunity to try and thing get things going again. I have a great email that I just got this weekend that I thought would be helpful to share exactly what I'm saying here. Um, you're going to love this because this is going to blow you away. This, I think, might be a record for me, okay? They said, hey, Craig, a short note if you'd like to share this with your viewers. I haven't been fortunate enough to be able to Skype with you, but watch you and Margaret all the time. An awesome duo, life-saving to me. I am working hard on myself after a split a year ago and had a happy birthday text last month out of the blue. So, I know things may be going as I'd like them to. He is with someone else, but we hooked up a few times since he's been with her. Okay, well, there's good and bad in that, okay? He's hooked up with you since uh, he's gotten together and left you for this other woman. I guess he left you for this other woman. You didn't tell me that situation. But what I don't like is that if he's willing to cheat on this other woman with you, you know, that just goes to show you he may have been cheating on you with this other woman. And so that's a red flag, okay? I know you're excited that you've been hooking up again, but you need to know what that relationship is before you jump back into it. In other words, if this is his girlfriend and now he's cheating on his girlfriend with you, that shows a lot about his integrity, and I'm not so sure I would want somebody back who's willing to cheat on their new partner with you, okay? Um, you got to think long and hard about that because it feels good like, yeah, maybe you can get this turned around. Yeah, but is he exclusive with somebody now, and now he's cheating on her? I don't like that, so be careful. She goes on to say, so I continue to work on things. Huge weight loss, although I wasn't that big. Business going from strength to strength, and I feel happy. However, my main reason for mailing you is I'd like to share, in the past week, my ex from, get this, 35 years ago has been in touch and told me I'd always been the one and he often thinks of me, etc., etc. Wow, 35 years. 
So for any of your viewers who ask, will my ex forget about me? Here's a resounding no. Both texts were from out of the blue from both exes. And I still aim to win back the recent guy. Just thought it would be a nice little note on top of a video. Have an awesome day and keep doing what you're doing with love from Wales, UK. Well, thank you so much for sharing that. I think my record before this may have been like 27 years, but th this is incredible. 35 years. And not only was it 35 years, but look at what he said. I often think about you and always thought you were the one. Okay. See what I'm saying about time is on your side. Now, of course, I would never tell anybody to put your life on hold that long. It certainly wouldn't be healthy for you to do. But when I tell you that a lot of you are going to have another opportunity and your ex will revisit the opportunity, this is just a little bit more evidence that that happens. And so it's great that this email came up because I had thought about doing a video on this topic and then boom, there I got it in my email. Happens all the time like that. Okay, you guys doubt that the universe works in certain ways? Well, I don't. Okay, I see it time and time again. So, um, I know you're feeling like overwhelmed and thinking that he's just going to forget about you. But, of course, that does happen. I'm not going to say it won't happen because every situation is so different. And yes, there are times where somebody just moves on and they feel like they have to. But a lot of times they do come back around again. Um, now, a lot of women ask me, well, how is he going to miss me if he's dating somebody new? Well, at that time or at this time when he's dating that other person, yeah, he probably will miss you less. I mean, that just is obvious, right? I mean, it may hurt to hear, but yeah, there's a good chance if he's excited about somebody new, he's going to be thinking about you less. Now, there are a lot of times where they are with this new person and it's not going so great. And you think it's going great. It looks on social media like it's going great, but it's not going great. And in their mind, you're the one they're thinking about. Believe me, it happens a lot more than you would think. So if they are dating somebody new, I would say that once he is single, he will certainly feel the effects of missing you a lot more. Okay? So you just have to be patient. It always, it, things don't always happen when we want them to, but that doesn't mean it won't happen. Okay? And that's the important thing about time is that even though it may not be possible to get your ex back in this moment, it doesn't mean that it won't be possible again in the near future or in the distant future or whatever it may be. Okay? And of course, I'm not encouraging you guys to put your life on hold. I'm just saying you'd be surprised exes come back years later all the time. Sometimes not years, sometimes six months, sometimes nine months, sometimes four months. It just depends on the situation. So, um, you know, if this guy, you know, had thought about you a lot at some point or told you how he felt and things were going well, you know, and they were attached to you, maybe they said they loved you, maybe you were living together, um, maybe you had talked about getting married. Those are all really good signs that they're going to think about you, you know? Obviously, you know, if somebody says to you at some point they want to marry you and have kids with you and spend their life with you, then yeah, that's a big loss for them because they really envisioned you as part of their life. Why it didn't work out, obviously every situation is unique, but yeah, think about it. That person said all those things, they meant it at the time. Now, some of you ladies get frustrated because the guy isn't doing anything. They just broke up with you and now they're depressed, they're uh, anxious, maybe they have problems with alcohol, um, and they're not doing anything with their life, and you're like, I don't understand. This was so good. I, I can't understand why they would give this up. Why don't they miss me? Why would they just walk away from this? I, I see that all the time. Um, 
And, you know, it's tough when you're in that situation. And those are tricky situations that a lot of times Margaret and I have to look at, you know, the details of why they would have walked away from that. Um, a lot of times there's like a depression going on or some kind of unresolved trauma or uh, maybe the family isn't wanting them to separate and individuate. Those can get kind of tricky. But, you know, sometimes you ladies are like, I'm so frustrated. I know I'm a catch. Why do I want this guy? Why do I want this guy who doesn't want any part of me? Well, probably in many cases, it's because he reminds you of your father or a caregiver, but a lot of times it's your dad. And we're so drawn to the familiar. It is very, very powerful in our unconscious. And you got to be aware of it. The more you work on yourself, the more you identify what happened in your life, your story, who the people are you've been attracted to and why, looking at your parents, the more you're going to realize it and be able to fix it. It goes on in your unconscious, replaying over and over again. It's called the repetition compulsion. And so you've got to be aware of that, okay? And a good therapist would understand that, okay? They we're trained to look at the unconscious. Now, um, some of you ladies are talking about, well, he cheated on me. Is he going to forget about me because now he's with this other girl? Well, if he's a cheater, you know, do you really want him? I mean, why did he cheat? Is it because the relationship was really bad between you two? Or is he just really selfish and self-absorbed? And that's something you got to look at it at that. But, um, you know, you have to love yourself. And that can be really difficult. You always have to love yourself and value yourself. So even if you love somebody else, you can't not love who you are and put yourself on hold or your feelings on hold because that person won't respect you and they'll just take you for granted and take advantage of you anyway. Okay? But you, re you just need to remember you were a part of his life. Think about that. You are a part of his life. You have been a part of his life. And so now that part is missing. Okay? Part of his life is missing. And he knows that. Okay? Um, you know, a lot of times people will break up because of their emotional state. Their unhappy with the relationship, with the problem, with a frustrating event or, uh, you know, neglectful situation, like maybe um, you're not spending enough time with them, maybe you're not being intimate enough, whatever it is, and they're so overwhelmed by the emotional state that they have to end the relationship. But in time, being away from you, they start to really reflect and realize that that problem really wasn't as bad as it felt at the time. And when they start to miss you and really think about you and realize how important you were, it really impacts them. And then they start to wonder about you more and more. And I have one more really important point to make to you ladies. And that is, you know, Many of you are assuming that how he is feeling right now is going to stay that way, okay? So if he's angry and he's being stubborn and he's saying, I don't want to be with you anymore and I don't love you anymore, you assume that it's going to stay the same way. But I can tell you that time changes everything. And just because somebody feels one way about you right now doesn't mean it's going to stay that same way. In many cases, it changes and they will revisit getting back with you. But you have to work on yourself. And one of the most crucial things you can do is work on yourself during this time where you're not in contact with them. Because if you go back and it feels the same and you look the same, then they're probably going to think, well, the problems are still the same. This isn't going to get better. And then they move on. That is why Margaret and I are always focused on personal growth. And we always tell you 
to make that your number one priority because the pain that you have is oftentimes directly correlated to your motivation level. And so use this pain to motivate you. I did, okay, I speak from experience on that. And that's why I did workbooks, okay? You can sit and do them every single day. You should make time every single day. Even if you're just doing one video of the workbooks every day, you'll have months and months of material especially with the Elite Series. They are massive. There's enough material in there to keep you working on yourself for probably five to six months, okay? If you are really thorough, it's going to give you a lot of opportunity to grow and progress and put yourself in the best shoes to reattract them. Just remember, time is on your side, okay? So, if you want to get my help personally, just go to my website, askcraig.net, sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. I do email coaching and I do Skype. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm always putting out new content and that way you'll be alerted first to when it comes out. And check out the podcast. Just search for me on all the major podcast platforms. But that's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth and I will talk with you soon.